Hello ladies and gentlemen, in this video I'll be doing a review of Ubuntu 18.10 which is codenamed Cosmic Cuttlefish. Now I have to say Ubuntu 18.10 is in the most unenviable position, following on from what is an excellent long term support release of Ubuntu 18.04, and for me personally I've got no intention of changing to this release. It seems like with the options of using snap based applications you can get a lot newer software onto your computer without the forceful need to upgrade to a different release. But what will you get with this release? Well you do get a newer kernel, which may well be backported to Ubuntu 18.04, newer Mesa version, which again may be backported to 18.04, newer graphics drivers, yep same thing. But a couple of things it does have over and above its predecessor is a faster boot up speed and a faster opening of the snap based applications. The newer kernel provides better support for USB 3.2 and USB type C, fingerprint sensors, and Intel's latest version of CPUs. Ubuntu 18.10 comes with the GNOME 3.30 desktop, although a couple of applications are held at earlier versions. For example, Nautilus or Files is held at version 3.26. You get the Linux kernel 4.18, Mesa 18.2.2, and you have the option of installing the NVIDIA 390 graphics drivers, which have not progressed at all from the previous version of Ubuntu 18.04. On the first run of Ubuntu, you get this welcome screen, which gives you the option of connecting to a few different online accounts. If you skip that, then you get this option to help improve Ubuntu by sending information about your system and how long your installer took. You can view the first report and it sends options about your CPU, memory, display size, how long the installer took, and the options that you chose. And then finally it gives you the option to install a few different applications. The Ubuntu or the GNOME Software Center has been modified to place a greater emphasis on snap based applications. For example, just selecting VLC off that list has taken me to the snap version of the application. I noticed that snap based applications are favoured in first place on the result, and the deb package is placed in the second. And we have these editors picks which are all snap applications. I did see an interesting point by a viewer that they mentioned there's no way of only seeing the open source based snap applications. You get both the proprietary and open source. The theme has now been changed in Ubuntu 18.10. This is called Yaru, which used to be known as the community theme. Although you can install that in Ubuntu 18.04 as well, so don't think that's a primary reason to upgrade. If you would like the new theme, you can get that in the older version of Ubuntu. I have to say it does look quite nice. And you do get the option between choosing it from Yaru Light or Yaru Dark. Since you've seen the light theme in action, we'll continue on this video with the dark theme. Using the GNOME Tweak tool, you can easily move the Close, Minimize and Maximize buttons from the left hand side and right hand side. But by default now in Ubuntu, they are on the right hand side. I prefer them on the left because I liked their older style. If you're a particular fan of the GNOME minimal title bar button selection, i.e. only having one, you can switch to that as well. So Ubuntu aren't exactly holding you into a particular theme. Although they do lock you into a particular layout with the dash to dock type extension, it just really annoys me that the show applications is at the bottom of the screen. Although I've mentioned that before and it's still there. So. But at least when you click the activities in the top left hand side, which a long term Ubuntu user may well be more familiar with, with the old Unity desktop, yeah, it does at least give you the option to open up applications from the activities window, as well as switching to the different desktops as well, or activities as they call them in GNOME. So yeah, I can open up an application which I installed. Yeah. And performance of the system has been very reasonable. I've not noticed any huge slowdowns. Do the snap applications feel any faster to me? Well, it's kind of difficult to say. I use LibreOffice as a snap on my main system, and I don't really notice any huge issues there with the performance. One thing to mention with this release is the diminishing support for 32 bit. So, only two derivatives of Ubuntu are now allowing 32 bit install, and that is Zubuntu and Lubuntu. The advice I saw at the beta release was they were discouraging upgrade of 32 bit systems because it'd be really limiting your support time. I imagine Ubuntu will discontinue 32-bit support at some point. When that will be, who can say for sure? I do like the new theming. It's a shame they haven't gone further with the icon set. The default applications do come in modified icons, 
But from what I've seen, that is just limited to the default pre-installed set, as all the other applications I've installed have these stock icons. Taking a look at a cute application from KTE, I have to say the theme in there just looks awful. I suppose it wouldn't be so bad if I chose the Yaru light theme. Yeah, I've gone for the dark theme and that is quite noticeably different. That seems to be a standard with the stock setup of GNOME. I believe it can be modified, just a shame it's not been done out of the box. As with Ubuntu 18.04, there is the option to install a minimal version of Ubuntu. This is not to be confused with the old Ubuntu minimal ISO file. This is just negating the install of certain applications for the desktop environment of Ubuntu, for example, the games and LibreOffice. I used it on my main system with Kubuntu and then installed LibreOffice from a snap. So I didn't have to go and uninstall the deb package of LibreOffice. Let's look at Ubuntu 18.10. As I mentioned earlier, it is in the unenviable position following on from a nice long-term support release because all you're gonna get for support here is nine months. So you're just gonna to have to upgrade for the next release of Ubuntu. In terms of stability, it's been perfectly fine. Speed and responsiveness, Again, perfectly fine. Thanks for watching, I'll see you all later.